Imagine if you created a popular product, but this product caused irreparable harm to the environment and associated health risks. Whether from material extraction, manufacturing practices, distribution channels or other means, this product is not sustainable. When faced with this situation, some businesses seek remedy via carbon offsets, where money is exchanged to compensate for greenhouse gas impacts. These changes, while they appear to be beneficial, often fail to consider the bigger picture, ignoring the effects of feedback loops, like the albedo effect and ocean acidification. The issues that affect us are interconnected. Social, economic and environmental factors contribute to their impacts in a variety of ways. The end result is like shuffling chairs on the Titanic. Time and effort spent towards solutions that are ineffective or worsen the problem. We are running out of time. To solve the problems affecting our world, we need to look at not just the problem, but all the connected elements. For instance, to make products more sustainable, businesses could look at adopting eco-friendly materials and optimize their supply chains, providing value-added end-of-life services. No matter what happens, we cannot ignore the stark reality. We need a new approach. If we can rethink how we approach our sustainability problems, we can create a world that thrives for everyone. The systemic holistic model considers the significance of materiality across multiple capitals as measured using integral thinking. Integral thinking ensures a holistic approach is employed to address environmental impact and is one of Thrive Framework's 12 foundational focus factors. It is a credible, measurable and implementable transformation mechanism that aims to move us beyond sustainability and towards thriveability, ensuring present and future generations can enjoy a sustainable society and a thrivable future.